Ladies and gentlemen, I look like shit. I'm going to review uh, Lucha Underground. This is my first Lucha debut review or whatever. I, I've watched your show since it started, but this is my first review because it was a special show. I was going to review the first one, but I waited like uh, till this one started to uh, review it. Like I waited for both parts to air. And my God, this show was awesome. These people know how to book a big pay-per-view special show. Yeah, wow, man. This show was incredible. I think it's better than anything Ring of Honor, TNA, and WWE have done all year. I had to watch the, the replay because uh, I was watching No Surrender, but this was a great way to like end the night that I had. I had a good time watching this, and I wanted to wait for both parts to air, so uh, here's the review. They did like a tribute to Piper, Rowdy Rowdy Piper in the beginning, which is nice. They called him the original Rudo, and the first match was Brian Cage versus The Mac in False Count Anywhere. These guys, like, the action started right off the way. That never stopped in this special, like. These guys just beat the hell out of each other. I've been a fan of both these guys since, like, 2010 when I started watching uh, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Um, And uh, shut up over there. And the Mac beat the fuck out of uh, Cage, but then Cage uh, did, like, the Seth Rollins stomp on the cinder block. Bam! Broke his fucking head. And he threw him in, like, the, the roof where the, the believers are. Where uh, Mil Mortes put Phoenix through a few months ago. Great match. Awesome match. This is a match that you open your show with. That's what you do. Good match. Um, it's going to be hard for me to describe these matches because I only have a couple minutes. But I really recommend this show. I think it was better than WrestleMania. Anyway, this trios championship with uh, the Disciples of Death which is, I think, Argus, Arginus, Ricky Mandel, and someone else under a mask with Katrina versus uh, the champions, which is Angelico, Son of Havoc, and Ivalice. Ivalice is a definition of tough enough. She's probably tougher than any tough enough contestant ever. Um, she was actually in it, and she would have won. The only reason she lost was because she broke, she got injured or something. Uh, this match was good. This girl, Ivalice, came out on crutches. These guys, it was not like a typical six-man match. Like, they just beat the crap out of each other all over the temple. And then Katrina got in there, so Ivalice assaults her. And um, very good match, very storytelling match. Um, and Helico did his crazy spot where he jumps on everybody. Um, and the Disciples won, which I didn't like. There's so many teams. Like, this team deserved it, but, like, there were so many teams that could have won. At least they're better than the crew, though, so. Yeah, good, good match. Where's my Coke? Oh, this is Coke, yeah. The next match was probably one of my favorites. Drago versus Hernandez. Believers Backlash. The Believers came out. And these guys were real fans, so they weren't plans. And they whipped the shit out of Hernandez. I love this match because everything, Hernandez got everything he deserved for what he did with the whole beat out BDC TNA thing. He like throw Drago. He thought they were going to whip him, but they don't whip Drago. They help him. So then they, they throw out, he throws out Hernandez and they whip him. She's like, ah, ah. And then he like got frustrated. So he started like pushing the believers and throwing them around. And then Drago picks up nunchucks and he whips Hernandez with it. And then he puts him through a table. And then he finishes him right there and beats him. Um, I like Drago. Drago should have won more matches in Lucha Underground. But I'm really glad he won this one. And the thing is, Hernandez is done with Lucha and TNA. So where the hell is he going to go? I don't know. By the way, as a AAA fan, Lucha Underground has been a great product to enjoy. For the last year. Right then the special. Last night was with. Alberto El Petron versus Johnny Mundo. This match was the opener of the second show. It, the two hour one. Full of storytelling. Uh, these guys are crazy man. WWE dropped the ball multiple times. With both these gentlemen. Um, I was really going for Alberto to win. M me and my brother were watching this together. And I, the woman came out. I'm like who's that woman? And my brother right away knew it was Molina. I was shocked. My brother was shocked. I was like, Molina? We haven't seen her on TV in God knows how long. And I guess she's here at Lucha Underground. Very good match. She helps Johnny Mundo win. Uh, these two, the ref, there was a ref bump. Crazy. Um, but then what happened was uh, El Patron, he, he, Molina helped them Mundo win. And then El Patron gets mad. So he beats the crap out of uh, Mundo. Destroys him. Puts him through a glass window. And then he smacks Molina's ass. <laughs> But then he leaves, like, happy. It's funny. Uh, 
And then this match, the next one, was one I was looking forward to. Vampiro versus Pentagon Jr. Bloody match. It reminded me of Mick Foley and Randy Orton at Backlash. Cactus Jack. Remember that? 2004. Bloody match. Glass. Fluorescent bulbs. Tables. Chairs. You name it. He beat Vampiro badly. That Vampiro had to get escorted out. But then he, he like stretchered out. But then he comes out back and starts beating up Pentagon. He came out like dressed up as a dark pope. He rips Pentagon's mask. Brutalizes that boy. The blood, the blood is like stains. The, the, it's like the ring is caked with blood. And then like uh, Pentagon wins. But uh, he, Vampiro's like, break my arm. And then he breaks Vampiro's arm. And then the master that he was like calling to all this time was revealed to be Vampiro. But yeah, he put that boy through a table and beat him. But I guess they're an alliance now. Uh, very strange twist. This looks like something that would happen in TNA, but it was good. I liked it. The next match was the uh, the Gift of the Gods match. It's like a money a contendership championship. Uh, seven people, I think. Yeah, seven people. Arrow Star, Big Rick, Sexy Star, Phoenix, Bengala, uh, Jack Evans, and King Cuerno. Great match. Everybody was doing something. Uh, big Rick was being the big guy, but, you know, the slams and the power powerhouse. The other luchas were, like, flying around. Uh, King Cuerno is fucking talented as hell. Like him and Shane Strickland, uh, kill shots from former tag team. Sexy Star is another tough girl. She's tougher than a lot of the guys. Bengala's awesome. I don't keep Ricky Marvin Bengala. He's a cool wrestler. Um, I don't like that moth. He acts like the Riddler from Batman Forever. Uh, Marty the Moth, but uh, Phoenix won. Phoenix deserved it. Like this man fought to get in this thing. He got taken out, and then he fought to get back in, and he won. I'm happy. But it looked like any one of these guys could win at one time or another. Like any one of these seven, well, six guys and a girl. But yeah, the next contest was uh, Texano versus Blue Demon. Um, this match was a dud because uh, I was looking forward to it, and then Chavo Guerrero comes out. And the crew's at ringside for Blue Demon. It's funny because in AAA, Blue Demon's face in Texano's heel, but Chavo turns on uh, Texano and his family joins uh, Blue Demon's family. So the families are united and Blue Demon wins. <sighs> Excuse me. I like this because both these guys are nice in real life. Like I met, what the fuck? I met Chavo last August, last year in uh, a, 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 a live event. And then the year before, I met Blue Demon. So they're really nice. Uh, Blue Demon signed like a card, like a picture, you know. And Chavo signed our Eddie Guerrero action figure. So that was nice, you know. All right. And the main event was uh, Mil Muertes with Katrina. Katrina's fucking looking smoking, brother. So, yeah, Katrina's hot. I think she might be my new favorite woman in wrestling. Uh and Prince Puma's the man. Prince Puma's fucking talented, man. Casuals probably say he sucks, but fuck those people because he's awesome. I think Mil Muertes is Ricky Banderas. I'm still not convinced. But this motherfucker's big. He looks like a black uh, Mexican, you know, Mexican Brock Lesnar, bro. Um, I found it kind of annoying how they kept shoving him down our throats, but I guess they were doing it for this. And this match was awesome, bro. Uh, Muertes was like the slammer, like the powerhouse, slamming Puma around. Puma's trying to get revenge for Conan for what they did to him. So he's like being the high flyer. And Puma, if you watch like Lucha Underground like I did forever, like the whole time, he's beating everybody. Drago, Cage, Hernandez, uh, King Cuerno, you name it. Johnny Mundo, he's wrestled everybody. Um, And then they fought all over the temple. Like he threw uh, fucking Will Muertes up the stairs and then like into the crowd. And then Muertes too. Muertes is like this. Everybody moves, and then he flings Puma right into the, the seats. All the seats go down with Puma. It's like dominoes. Um, and then uh, towards the end, near falls. But you see, unlike Ring of Honor, you care about the matches. The near falls actually excite you. They don't upset you. And, and you have a reason to care about all the characters in the ring. But yeah, um, we're in Muertes. Uh, he was in the top, and then Puma was trying to take him down from the, from the top rope. But then he counters and he hits his finisher from the top rope on Puma. And I'm like, please, no, get up, my nigga, get up. And Muertes wins and he gets the title. And then Katrina has like her little rock. Uh, the Disciples of Death come out with the Trios Championship. 
and Muertes with the Lucha Underground World Championship. Um, who's going to beat them? Like, seriously. This team is unstoppable. And this was the end of season one. Thank you, Lucha Underground. Great year. My new favorite wrestling show, like TNA and Lucha Underground. I love No Surrender, but I think this show was better. Ultima Lucha. Uh, towards the end, they show, like, all the characters. Like, some are going back to Mexico. Some are staying. Uh, I recommend this show of 10 out of 10. Um, I was I was going to make it 9 out of 10 because of the the Demon uh, Texano match, but the main event was good. I recommend this show. Everybody check out Lucha Underground. Give it a chance. Don't watch one episode and say that it sucks. Watch it for like a month and see if it's for you or not. But yeah, no wonder Solo Monster likes this show so much. It's awesome. And I can't wait till they do the next season. I'm looking forward to seeing season two. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Later. Lucha, 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 lucha.